Welcome to Harambe Gains Pull Day. So this is the second video. The first video was a push day. And today we're going to be working the back. We're going to start with the deadlift. And the deadlift is going to work your posterior chain. And it's a full body movement, so we like to get it out of the way right at the beginning. For this, we're going to set up the band. Right now, it's set up singled, so the only one band is under the channel. We want it to be doubled, so I'm just going to lift this up a little bit, slide the band in, convert it into a doubled situ situation. Lift with control, start with a band that's easiest for you. Don't uh, shoot ahead. There's no rush. You can build muscle just fine with lighter bands at the beginning. Use progressive overload to slowly load up the force so that your body is ready for it. So notice I set up the doubled configuration in the long groove of the cork block. I'm going to switch to the shorter groove before the movement because it lifts the bar up a little bit and gives me more space for my feet. So with a deadlift, I like to do a Romanian deadlift, which means I'm going to restrict the range of motion to where the bar goes from about here to full standing. Just want to remind you at the beginning to do a little bit of a warm up. 20 jumping jacks. You could do 10 leg swings per side, like, like so, while holding something, and 20 circles, just to warm up your body before you start the workout. I do this before any push or pull day. So we stand on the board, hip width apart, band is doubled. I'm going to hinge at the hip to reach down, and I grab the bar about shoulder width apart. There we go. Center it. Put tension on the band a little bit, and keep the back in neutral position. When you start lifting, pull the shoulders back and set them down like so, and keep your head following your back. Take a deep breath. It's really important that you stop as soon as any muscle fails in this movement. If your lower back starts to fail, stop. Don't push through that with bad form. See right now, I'm starting to fail and I'm really focusing on squeezing the hamstrings and the glutes. It's not my back that's doing most of the work. And there we go. Those are the Romanian deadlifts. I'm gonna set a timer now for one or two minutes. I'm gonna wait until we catch our breath. And the next movement is also going to be a doubled movement. And for this movement, I'm going to go to a lighter band. You can typically deadlift a lot more than you can do this next movement, which is a bent over row. So I'll just go to the white band, put it in the main channel, like so. And you notice how I put the whole block and the bar off here to set it while I put the band on? I find this is the easiest way to load and unload things. Put the slings on the bands. We're all set up, and the minute is done. So for bent over row, this is going to target your lats and your biceps some. I'm going to step about hip width apart on the plate, and you're going to hinge down like you would a deadlift. But instead of grabbing up above overhand, we're going to grab underhand. Grab the bar underhand like so, and now I'm going to pull the bar to my belly button. Focus on pulling the elbows back. This will help focus your lats in this movement. Okay, so we got six of those. Great. So we just did deadlift, which really hit the posterior chain. Bent over row, which really hit the lats. And eventually you might find that in your bent over row, your back is giving out before your lats. Don't worry. Your lower back's gonna grow really fast. In a couple weeks, 
two weeks maybe, you're gonna find that your lower back is gonna get a lot stronger. It's gonna be sore for a while and that's okay. That's the muscles building up in your back. Let them build up. Eventually, your lats will be catching up to your lower back. And your lower back is gonna be super strong. It's gonna look great. So the next movement is gonna be feral curls. Feral curls are gonna be done with the band singled. So let's switch to a singled configuration. The white band's actually good for me for that. So I take the cork block off. I'm gonna pull the band off. Sometimes, you know, you're set up and doubled. This kind of twist thing happens. So notice how it's twisted there. You see that? It's not the same as that side, but easy to fix. Just take it off. <laughs> Get a little twist so it's like that. So we fixed it and we want it to be singled. See the great thing about these slings? They never come off as long as there's tension. So put the cork black on and lift the plate slightly, slide the band in, that channel, and we're set up for ferro curls. Yeah, biceps! <sighs> Excited. All right. So it's okay to be a little bit breathing heavy a little bit it means your body's still warmed up for the next set. So whenever you pick up the bar, always treat it like you're doing a deadlift. Don't ever be like, oh, because then you're gonna really stress your back. And so you always wanna keep your back in neutral position. Also in life, if you're ever picking anything up, keep your back in neutral position like you're doing a deadlift. So pick this up, I'm gonna pick it up like that, like so, about shoulder width apart. Um, you can go as wide as you want, whatever feels more comfortable to you. I like, like it about here. Experiment, see what feels right. Okay. So I keep my core tight, a slight bend in the knees so I'm not locked out, and I'm going to pull the bar up to my chin with control. I'm not going to be um, snapping it or anything. You'll see. So let's go. As many reps as you can. <sighs> Breathing out as you go up. <sighs> Breathing back in as you go down. <sighs> Keep your face relaxed. Don't clench your teeth. And then as you're starting to feel like you're, it's starting to struggle, don't lean back. Lean forward and bend your knees more. The last lift of the main lifts is calf raises. I'm doing this workout as a demonstration. I am going to fatigue every set just to show you what that's like. But just so you know, I, I did do a workout earlier in the morning, so I'm already pretty tired. But I am going to fatigue, so this is another workout for the day. It's great. So for this movement, we're gonna go doubled. We're gonna hit the calves. And I just wanna say, for, so a lot of people say, they struggle with this movement because their grip gives out before their calves do. And that's it's okay at the beginning. It turns out your grip is gonna get very strong. Ooh, the minute's done. Your grip's gonna get really strong, sort of like your lower back. The more you train it, it's gonna get really strong. And before you know it, you're gonna be able to hold the bar pretty easily and your calves will be the ones failing. Let's get into this. So for this movement, you step and keep the balls of your feet in the middle of the plate. So I'm not forward like I am with a deadlift like this. I'm stepping back and have the heels in the middle of the plate. And that's because I'm going to be doing this movement while I hold the bar. So this takes a little bit of balance. Take it easy, do a light band. Do not stuff off the plate under tension. It will fly at you. <laughs> Don't do that. All right, let's do this. So we're gonna reach down just like a deadlift. Reach down, grab about 
shoulder width apart, and get it nice and even. Stand up, so smooth. And we're gonna start doing the calf raises. So one thing to keep in mind is when I'm at the bottom of a rep, I'm not resting. So I'm actually not letting the back of my foot bear any weight. Really focus on squeezing the calves. Get that full extension. Control, don't just fall back down. This will keep your ankles healthy. Slight bend in your knees. And that is the end of pull day. There's an optional movement that you could do, shrugs, but we're not going to do that today. Uh, thank you so much for watching.